Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So guys, I am very sorry. In my previous video, I did not know what was happening. Okay, so I really apologize. And the video was also very lengthy. So I really apologize. All right, guys. So what we will do? I will delete this app uh, in my Firebase. Okay, and we will. Add another, uh, I mean, we will add another app in our Firebase. Okay, so we have to click on Add App and okay, so now we have to add an app and click on Add Firebase to our app and let's our uh, copy our uh, application ID. So in this case we have let's copy it and let's say we have GPS tracker tutorial okay so and also we need a SHA1 so how can we find our SHA1 so we can say go to Gradle and go to app Android and signing report okay Okay guys, so now uh, what we will do, okay, just click on this icon and here we have this SHA1 certificate, just copy that and paste it in your Firebase app. all right guys so it's taking a lot of time so we have to click on this app again okay let me connect my wi-fi all right guys so uh, if in your uh, computers if it is working fine you don't need to create uh, this another app okay i am just creating this app because i am i am getting some problems okay let's create again the app let's go okay let's first of all copy that and then we have to copy our package name I'll click on register app okay I think we don't need let's uh, refresh it And now let's add the app. Okay, we have this GPS tutorial. Let's remove that, delete this app. All right, so now we create uh, another app. new and click on register app all right so now we have to download the google services dot json okay so it's now downloaded but we first of all need to delete our existing 
so first of all go to here and click on compact and first of all go to project view app and here we have this google uh, services dot json so we have to delete and go to your downloads and here i have just i will just copy that okay and i will paste in app all right so now let's first of all click continue okay and click finish and after that we have to go to authentication okay and first of all go to sign in method and here we have to enable the email password okay all right so now let's uh, compile our project all right so now the uh it is built successfully so now we have to run our app so let me connect my phone and let's check if the values are uh, getting stored successfully so all we have to do is we have to check So we have to close so now I will just click on C7 okay guys so now uh, let's our app is now running so we'll now go to sign up and let's say i have her own at gmail.com and click next after that i enter password next her own. and let's check an image all right so we will crop that and click next and if we click on register okay so now it is saying that user registered successfully okay so here you guys can see we have this uh, users and inside it we have unique user id okay and here we have you guys can see we have code email image url okay so okay so now what we can do uh, let's create another user okay let's sign up and let's say we have user 2 so we can say abc at gmail.com click next and let's say one two three four five six seven click next okay abc and let's select an image okay and if we click on the next and click on register all right guys you can see we have another node okay we have now two 
users who have different using your uh, unique user id and they have their information stored okay so guys if you and uh, let me also show you the uh, in uh, our authentication part so here we have these two email ids okay so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye